Now, if you saw this title of this YouTube video, you probably dropped a dookie in the back of your pants. But today, we're going to be interviewing Sneeko, one of the most controversial men on the internet. He's been banned on YouTube, banned on Twitch, probably banned on TikTok as well. Shit, he might even be banned on DoorDash. But we're sitting him down and we're interviewing him today. We want to know why, and we want to extract the facts and pull apart from the fiction. Let's get it. Let's go. If you want to keep these lights on, look, I got to pay rent. All you got to do is click the like button and subscribe. Enjoy the podcast. All right, let's get it cranking, man. Let's do it. Um, you're like probably the third guest. We had two pretty wholesome guests, I'd say. And I don't really know if you fall in that. What do you think? I'm a wholesome guy. Okay. I'm um, a wholesome guy. So like... Wait, did you do research and now you think I'm not wholesome? No, 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 no. We did we did research. I don't I mean, we'll 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 figure it out today, I guess. But um so first thing is, why do you think you're banned off of YouTube? I broke the community guidelines about COVID misinformation and election misinformation and the third one was cyberbullying harassment. So I I broke three strikes. And then they banned me off of like most of social media after that. I'm also banned on on TikTok and Twitch. Yeah. yeah. Do you regret anything, or do you think you did it all? Like I don't. Up? No, I don't regret anything. No, I don't. I don't live with regrets. Okay. <laughs> so like now, when you're talking about, I mean, I, we're probably gonna have to like bleep or cut this because it'll get demonetized. But when you're talking about like COVID misinformation or election misinformation, what were you saying? Well, I'm, I'm against the vaccine. Um, yeah. This is this is gonna be brutal. You don't want to like say these words on uh, on YouTube. Oh yeah, we'll probably just have to cut it. But uh, it's interesting to hear about it. Yeah, um, I'll just be honest. Yeah, I'm against I'm against the vaccine. I spoke up about the vaccine when it was really bad. You weren't supposed to talk about that, and now people are finding out that there's like heart issues. There's problems with that. So you don't want to. Yeah, I'm, did you take it? No, I didn't. Take yeah, it. see, Florida people don't take it. Yeah, I feel like when you look at most states, Florida is definitely like a more loose state. Like people don't. Dude, I mean, I don't know. I didn't take the vaccine. I could tell you didn't take it just by this neighborhood. Yeah, like exactly. The, the trees in here, and the, there's a swamp. Like Everyone has their own world out here. It's just... Yeah, why yeah. would you go inject that into your body? But you weren't supposed to speak about that, and I just wanted to warn my viewers. I didn't... I, you know, I, I want to speak out against something that's going to be harmful, especially when, you know, all the information is steering one way. Okay. I mean, but do you think... And I like... I'm not saying you're right or wrong, but do you think you're in a place of, like, being able to say... Like, do you feel like you've done enough research to where you can honestly give opinions on that? Well, I mean, at the same time, what do they do? They say that about the celebrities that are getting paid money to promote it. Like, have, like Michael Phelps, for example, he's getting paid by Pfizer to promote it. Was he a, was he in the labs verifying the ingredients, or do they just give him money? No, but I think it's the same principle in school of thought. Like, if I feel like only like people that are like doctors or like professionals should like talk about it. That's like. I don't, I don't talk about shit I don't know about because I don't fucking know about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but at the same time, they had the whole, like, all of America and everybody in the West saying, stop the spread, stay indoors. It's like, so everybody became a medical expert. But then if you just, like, look at basic statistics, people weren't dying from COVID. It was basically the same mortality rate as the flu. So why would I inject a vaccine? The mRNAs in there. You could look that up. It's like gene therapy. It modifies your DNA. Well, I'm not going to take that for something that has the same mortality rate as a flu. I don't think my viewers should either. People definitely were dying from COVID, though. Not as much as they, they made it seem. I know, but you just said people weren't dying from COVID. We were at the same rate as, as the flu. Did you get COVID? Did you ever have COVID? Yeah, I got it multiple times. Yeah, I had COVID. I was, like, hospitalized. It was, like, at the peak of COVID. Um, and I remember, like... That was a scary fucking scene. Like, a lot of people in there had COVID. Um, and that was, like, peak. So, like, people definitely died from it. It was definitely horrible. Um, but, you know, if you don't get the vaccine, I'm not, I'm not, not I didn't get the vaccine. Like, because I just didn't want to, I don't like putting anything in my body. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Yeah. But, um. Especially when you can't really make a vaccine in a year. That doesn't make sense. Well, yeah, I mean, they kind of had to rush, obviously. But, yeah, I mean, I just don't, tr I just don't want to put anything in my body. Like, besides, like shit I eat, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't, I don't fucking know, I don't know what's in that. But, um, and then you said the other thing was election misinformation. Right. <laughs> Bro, you're crazy. What did you say? <laughs> uh, January 
Because they that was all staged, and a lot of that footage came out. Oh, afterwards. when they raided the um, they see that was a lot of that was a Fed psyop. A lot of that was <laughs> like this is, oh man, I feel bad for your for your kid viewers that are watching this. Like, what is this guy talking about? No, no our no. podcast, our average age is like what twenty. It's 21. Dude, it's oh, I think people know. 70 something percent is like 18 to 22. So you can go for it. Man. Oh, okay, that's good. Well, a lot of the footage was shown afterwards. They made it seem like there were these like really terrible people. A lot of the people that were there on January were just there to support Trump. And then the people that were encouraging and started breaking the glass, that were that was actually paid like those are federal agents. A lot of these people and especially that guy with the horns and everything, that guy was uh was encouraged to do that by former federal agents. That was one giant psyop to make Trump seem like the bad person. So sneak up. <laughs> How do you know this? Because the footage was released two years later. A lot of that footage was not released at the time because if you actually asked the people that were there, they'd be like, yeah, it was fine. You know, we were just there to support Trump and everything like that. We think the election was rigged. And then on the news, they made it seem like these people, these rancid people were like barging in through the White House. But people, people they weren't supposed to listen to that because that was all censored. And you were see, like, you were completely deleted like me. If you spoke up about that, but okay. that footage we're seeing now that that's actually proven true. Like, why do you think you, there were never cameras of the Capitol building and of, uh, of what was happening there? Because they didn't want you to see what was really happening. They, they showed you a specific version of the events so that they could tell you what happened instead of tell you the truth. So you think, okay, just to like backtrack the last five minutes. Um, so you think the January government PSYOP. Yes. And you're positive, like 100%. Well, there's, yeah, I was proven right. <laughs> like, okay. Hold on. Did you get your mic in yet or no? No, but this okay. is my fact check. It's like pretty fair. Yes, it was a government psyop, but everything is a government psyop. Whenever there's going to be riots, protests, anything like that, the FBI does inject themselves into that so they can make sure like nothing crazy is going to happen. But it was the FBI that was inciting the riot. The FBI was the one, they were breaking the glass first. Yeah. It's a, it's not totally wrong in the thing. It's not just. Yeah. Is that your brother? Uh, no, that's my cousin. He just, oh, okay. he's like, uh, he runs the podcast and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's well, the shitty Jamie. Shitty Jamie. I, I got the, the backup from him. And then yeah. uh, he's also unvaccinated too. I can tell, I can hear it in your voice. Um, yeah. I don't yeah. really think. Yeah. Let's go. Most people, I'd say 90% of this neighborhood is unvaccinated probably. That's why Florida's great, man. This is a great place. Yeah. Um, this is a great state. Beautiful place. A lot of freedom. That's why I moved here. I can t You're from yeah, Florida, aren't you? Wait, wait, where are you from? I'm from New York and Connecticut. Like, I, I was born oh, in New York. Oh, I can York, hear New York, Connecticut. yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you get sturdy sometimes, too. I be getting sturdy, man. Uh, okay. I gotta so, teach you, man. You gotta get sturdy. Yeah. So do you think... This is my <laughs> next question. And this is something I've... I have I couldn't ask you over... I'm not gonna ask you over Twitter. I need to ask you, like, in person. Okay. Do you think Andrew Tate made you? Nah, I've been doing YouTube for a long time, man. I had a million subscribers um back in 2021 and i think i started live streaming in 2022 i was uh i was pretty big on youtube beforehand i was known for a lot of different of my series for for quite a while okay interesting um so do you that's think that's the first time anyone's asked me that that's well yeah. okay like i don't think people think that i'm pretty plugged into the internet and like i remember when andrew tate was blowing up you were blowing up like a one month after and it was the same style of content right like you're sad, do push-ups, yeah, right? Yeah, it was yeah. that same style of content. <laughs> so, yeah, but it was live streaming, so I live stream every day. That's what differentiated it, is like Andrew Tate would go on a Rumble stream once every three months. You were streaming every night. Um, so do you think, and I want you to be honest, do you think you modeled your content after him when you saw the success that you got back when you were blowing up? You were like, you know, one of the fastest growing YouTube channels, all that. Do you think... Do you think even at one point you may have sacrificed your own beliefs just to fall under Andrew Tate's like wings? No, not at all. I think a lot of people were starting to wake up after that time in 2022. And that's when I started to talk about these things. Well, what I got banned on YouTube for is not stuff that you're that's known for being Andrew Tate stuff. Like you're sad, do push-ups. I was talking about like the vaccine, talking about the election. Like that stuff is just when in 2022, after COVID, people started to really realize, like, look how much they were lying to us for the past couple of years. They made us stay inside and lose your job. And we got kicked out of school for something that wasn't that bad, that wasn't necessary. They silenced all these people that were trying to speak up about something that was going to make you unhealthy. I think people were starting to realize about all the lies and then after two years of being stuck inside. And that was happening to me. I was like, what the hell is going on? I was started to ask questions. Yeah, I saw like, a lot of his videos and... It, I was started to wake up like while that stuff was was really blowing up. But not nah, to say I, I modeled it after that. I, no, 
But yeah, respect the two guys, man. Uh, Andrew Tristan are good guys. Yeah, I mean, you you met them, right? Yeah, they're cool. What they're were they guys. like, like off camera, like off stream and stuff? They're the same as they are on camera. Yeah, I, I figured. Cause. But everything, every content creator, everybody's exaggerated. Like you, like when I watch, yeah. I watch streams all the time. Like you're like you're yelling and you're drooling, and but you're not doing that right now. You know? Like, Have you yeah. watched my like gaming streams? Yeah, I don't even play Rainbow Six and I still watch it, bro. You're, you're entertaining. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't even know how the game works and I still watch the streams. That's insane. Wait, so like, when was the first time you saw one of my streams? The first time, I like don't know. a couple months ago. I think after I finished stream, I like I look at the websites and I check up on everyone and see what's doing well. And I kept seeing your name pop up like on the sidebar of Twitch, and I would tune in. Uh, I don't I don't have TikTok, and I know that you you blew up a lot on TikTok, so I never saw those stuff. But I would just I would just like click on and like see what you're doing. You don't you know? have TikTok. I don't. You deleted it. I never had it. I mean, that's probably I think that's probably the best decision ever is to I mean, like I post on TikTok, but I do think that happens vortex bro like if you like when you're scrolling through tiktok when you're scrolling through tiktok you'll wake up and it's like where did the last 45 minutes of my life go it's, it's bad i don't want to get into that bubble but that bubble is kind of twitter for me so i could i could delete that one too yeah twitter i think twitter out of all the social media platforms is probably the weirdest because i think twitter it's the best everyone just like farms would you agree with that well everyone like farms on every website no like dude tiktok a lot of people on tiktok are just viewers on Twitter, like, everyone has their own two cents. Like, You think that there's not a lot of lurkers on Twitter? There, no, there, I mean, there's lurkers on every social media platform, but if you look at lurking on TikTok as opposed to lurking on Twitter, it's way, way more on TikTok. Because mm. TikTok's more of an entertaining, like, swipe, swipe, swipe. Twitter's like, this guy's yapping, I'm gonna yap under it, let's see how many likes I can get. It's That's, just one big yap yeah. engagement farm. Yeah, um, yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's fun. But, um... What Do you made, think it got worse over Elon? Did, is that what you... Twi Twitter got worse over Elon? Yeah, I yeah. haven't really noticed a difference in Twitter since Elon, to be honest. I, I don't know why everyone's so fixated on that. The only thing I noticed, which is corny, is the X thing. I hate how that looks. I just like the bird. But, dude, I mean, what has Elon even done to Twitter? Like, can you, like... Uh... He brought me back. I was banned on Twitter, too. Oh, yeah, he brought... Um... <laughs> he brought Andrew Tate back, too, Yeah, right? I, yeah. I got banned, and then uh, thank you, Elon Musk, for reinstating me. That was yeah. dope. Yeah, I, I mean... Nice guy. <laughs> that... That I I think I actually said that in the like Moist Critical podcast we did a week ago, but mm. I think it's cool how he like uncensors everybody because I I believe in the same thing. I mean, like I don't believe anyone should be censored, whether you like disagree or agree, unless it's like actually you're harming people or like there's like. But I think if someone's speaking their mind, they should be able to speak their mind. You know what I'm saying? A hundred percent. I'm really surprised you like you believe in this stuff. Oh, dude, I. I think censorship is like one of the worst things ever, unless, you know, it's a threat to like society. You know what I'm saying? When does it become a threat to society? That's a great question. So I think, um, when you're advocating for violence. No, I think, wait, what'd you say? When you're advocating for violence. Yes. When, oh my bad. I just said no. Yeah. When you're advocating for violence or like, um, when you are literally pulling shit out of your ass, um, when you're like slandering people, literally, like when you're okay, not literally like pulling shit out right, of your ass. Right, right. I mean, like that should be censored. Yeah, if you're saying, if you're saying, if you're saying stuff you don't have any knowledge about. I mean, actually, no, you should be able to do that. When you're advocating for violence, is where I draw the line. Mm -hmm. I think you can be a fucking idiot on the internet. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm like you. If I want to yap about the vaccine, yeah. I should be able to. Like you, like <laughs> I, I mean, most of the shit you say is you're just going off the fly, dude. I was right about those things. Okay, um, have you ever been wrong about anything? Of course, I've been wrong, man. So, like, name one moment. I can't think of it. I'm usually right. Okay. Uh, interesting. So what made you gravitate more towards Rumble as opposed to Kick? Because obviously you can't stream on like Twitch or YouTube. So yeah. you could choose between those two. What made you choose Rumble over Kick? Because I, I agree with you. For, uh, censorship is really important. As uh, It's an important issue to, to care about. And Rumble stands for free speech. It has a certain identity. Like Rumble is the, the website of free speech. And Kick is the, you know, they don't really, that's not the culture there. I saw you talking about that last time. Yeah, wouldn't you say, um, wouldn't you say Kick kind of has free speech too, though? Like complete free speech? Yeah, but that's not really the the culture of the platform. The Rumble has a certain identity. Like people go there because they want to watch free speech creators. They want to see different voices. They want to see the band creators. They want to see people, they want to see YouTube and big tech dismantled. Kick, they go there because they want to see, you know, screaming and twerking and gambling. Yeah. Um, so do you think... Um, do you think gambling like played a part in why you didn't go to kick? Like the, like the fact that the site is funded by gambling. Yeah, that was a big part, but I like what they're doing. I, I like that they're competing with Twitch. I don't, I'm not a yeah. big fan of, um, of those other websites, 
but uh, yeah, I like what they're doing, but that did, that did play a big part. And also I didn't want to be, I, I like, I like kind of, even though I'm probably getting like a lot less live viewers on rumble because like when's the last time you ever like surfed on rumble to check the live creators you haven't ever, never, but I like being one of the only guys on rumble. You know, yeah. I, I don't want to be because you know, Twitch is like, that's your site. That's Kai's site. That's, or like kick is like Aiden, you know, I'd rather be, I, I like have my own mm -hmm. lane. Like big fish, little pond. Kind yeah, of. It's, yeah. It's better over there. I don't like being an under, I don't want to be underneath someone else's umbrella. Okay. Uh, that's kind of a fair point. Do you think, do you think that if you streamed on like kick, you'd have like way more viewers probably? Well, yeah, I'm not sure how many viewbots are on there. It's probably multiplied by two or yeah. three all automatically before you pay for them, and then you pay for them, and then yeah. It, but the, what does that really mean? I don't really mm -hmm. think that factors into any its actual impact, so it doesn't matter. Well, I mean, I think it directly factors into impact, right? I mean, if you're talking to thirty thousand people instead of ten thousand, you're talking to thirty thousand people. But it's not actually real. Well, if it's viewbotted, then no. It is. I mean, yeah, it is. So speaking of viewbotting, uh, what is your thoughts on neon? <laughs> That was a good segue as an interviewer. Um, he's a good kid, man. I, 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 I'm going to be honest. He's a good kid. I, I like kind him. of like Neon. Like, even though... So let me explain why. I, like, because people are going to be like, oh, bro. I saw when you guys were having a phone call. We were in LA in the car together. Yeah, and he dude, was, like, I talked to Neon off forever. stream. He's... I mean, you know Neon off stream, bro. Of he's, he's... Dude, this is Neon, right? And this is my opinion. I'm not, I'm not Dr. Phil. I'm not a psychiatrist. He's a kid who wants to go viral and get attention and clout. He's what, 18, 19? He's 19, yeah. Um, How old are you? I'm 22. Mm. So I think Neon is literally just a kid who wants to go viral. He will literally say whatever to get a fucking clip, right? It doesn't matter. When he's talking about like, no way people take this serious, but like he's at the UFC event and he's like, yeah, I'm yeah. going to press Trump. I'm gonna, like, <laughs> it's like, bro, no one's taking this kid serious. And then like fucking Dana White got on his ass. Well, not just that. The Secret Service took that seriously. Yeah, yeah you can't. Well, they have to, but yeah. yeah. But it's like, I mean, so what do you think of Neon? Yeah, I, I agree. I, I I see through the veil. like it, it Exactly. Because we have a content brain. We understand him. Yeah. So everything he says, and sometimes he'll say some shit. I'm just like, I know that he's clip farming when he's talking to me. So I'm just like, I just look at him, and then he breaks character. And then he laughs. <laughs> but that's like, so many people don't understand the internet. So they're just like, what? Like, who's this kid? Yeah. And he's like pissing off people in their 30s and 40s. I'm like, y you don't get it. Like, so that's why I don't really get angry about the stuff he says. And, you know, he's getting better. Yeah. Okay. He's learning. We're all learning. We're all getting better in real time. And I think that he needs somebody on his side because so many people are against him. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, um, I do actually think he's not a horrible kid. Like, I think he's a good kid because uh, I've spoken to him. I've met him off stream. Right. Um, you have too. But like when he's, you know, when he's in his clip farm state, like you said, like, you're just going to let him clip farm. Like, you know what I'm saying? You just, just let him go. He's fucking clip farming, dude. And like, like but that's every time, well, as soon as the camera turns on, it, that's as, yeah, where he goes. Right away. And like, I hate how he does this. <laughs> Yo, I hate how he'll be like in a room with people and like, he's just on his phone looking at <laughs> chat. He's like looking at I've, chat. I've tried. I've tried. It's so unhealthy, bro. It, it's, it's so bad. It's not good. It's not good. In a room of 10 people, like right now, he wouldn't be able to do this podcast. This is why I'm surprised you're doing this because like, he would be looking at it every three seconds. Yeah, no. Oh, it's fucking crazy. Um, okay, speaking of like just the kick streamers. Um, nice. Now, let me, I, I got like on Twitter, people were like, people thought I was talking bad about like, cause like I'll re say what I said, but basically people were like, oh, dude, you're shitting on like kick. And then like XQC got mad about it. Fucking Aiden was texting me. I wasn't talking about kick, like the, t the signed kick streamers. What I was saying was kick's card as to how they get streamers is, you can't get banned. Oh, you cannot get banned. So then all the cringe lords flocked to kick. And they started fucking prostitutes. They started fucking prostitutes <laughs> and committing actual crime on the fucking, on the, on the platform. And like yeah, some yeah. of them weren't getting banned. That's what me and Moist Critical were talking about for 20 minutes. But then when Scuba fucking Ryan does a 40 second clip, it's, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I know. So that pissed me off, but I was not talking about, those guys are Twitch streamers that went to kick. Like, I know. Hey, hey, that was fucking annoying. You gotta but, learn uh, to navigate on a podcast because the clip farmers are watching every single second. Yeah, They're looking for a, exactly. a title. Yeah, this is, like, I, there's already been so many clips. I'm pretty sure we have to cut the first like 10 minutes. Like, oh my God. Bro, wait, wait, wait. I mean, that was the best part. I mean, or just bleep it. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Okay, um, okay, okay. So what do you think of- Look at the censored streamer. Unbelievable. The Matrix got one. 
or well, I just want ad revenue joking. on yeah, the video. Yeah, but um, yeah, keep, uh, keep going so basically, I'm so surprised you're doing this. I was talking to Needles over here, like when we were driving over here, like why would you do this? You know, like you're on a good streak, you're like you're doing well, you're blowing up. Like why would you get a guess? Why would you get Sneeko on? Because so that's a good question. It's because, like what a terrible decision. You're, you're doing so well, man. Yeah, like, be, because I genuinely think it's the most unhealthy thing ever to filter who you talk to. I I disagree with probably ninety percent of the shit you say. What do you disagree with? I mean, like, well, I can't, I can't just say like, oh, I just, that's, I hear I, that all the time. And then people never bring up anything. They say, I, I disagree with 90%. Like what? So, like, okay. I'll, I'll give you two things I disagree with right now. Okay. So you were, sh I remember you were shitting on gaming, which was, that's fucked. And then the second thing you were shitting on was, um, well, it's not something you like shit on, but kind of, I mean, this is the thing. I don't want to like take you out of context. I don't want to misquote you. Yeah. Cause that's fucked up. I hate when people do that to me. Fair. But you were kind of saying like, oh, if you're sad, do push-ups. Like that was kind of your thing for a little bit. That's a great solution to so being that, sad. That is the worst thing I've ever heard. What, so, so what do you do when you're sad? So that's the worst thing you've so, ever heard. So no, no, no. I'm not saying working out is the worst thing I've ever heard. I doing push-ups when you're sad is one no, of the best immediate the reason, solutions to being sad. The reason why it's the let me explain, okay, Sneeko. The reason why it's the worst thing I've ever heard is because when you're when you're saying Oh, if you're sad, all you have to do is do push-ups. Doing push-ups is fucking amazing. Working out is amazing. Mm -hmm. That is a beautiful thing. That is fucking timeless. Timeless. You have to understand that some people are genuinely depressed. Some people are genuinely sad. Bullshit. <laughs> this so is not this true. is what I this this, this is, is what not I, true. This is not true. So do, do you believe in like brain chemical chemistry? imbalance? No, I think that's you don't a, believe in chemical. That's a giant another giant psyop, Jinxie. Come on, man. Chemical you believe imbalance? chemical imbalances are a psyop. You think that you can catch sadness like it's COVID? You can't just catch I'm sad. That's not how it works. There's circumstances in your life. There's a reason that you're sad, and you got to figure out why. You don't just randomly you're just chilling all of a sudden. I uh, roll over and then something's wrong with your body that's not the case and you know that's not the case because you've been you've been working hard at what you do dude i work hard at what i do i'm not i'm, I'm you not, don't have time to be sad because no. you're working hard and you're doing things people who get depressed just have nothing to do so do something do a push-up that's better than being like a bleh, bleh. dude i can't even tell if you're clip farming i'm 100 percent right not well so lahi this is what i believe dude. completely and i will debate you about this for hours cool let's do it um so do you don't you don't think life itself is intrinsically depressing you don't think life is intrinsically depressing sure but what's okay what do you can't just sure that you can't just say sure okay life itself is intrinsically depressing you're born I believe you're that. born against your own will you're you're then crafted into a person you become conscious at age three or four when you get older on you find your fan you love your family you find these friends whatever you slowly watch everyone you love and care about decay and die right before your eyes and you know you soon follow you're sitting here saying chemical imbalances or not even chemical imbalances natural depression isn't a real thing mm -hmm. on top of that you're saying if i get on the floor and do 20 push-ups it's okay it's better life than, better than not is, doing it it's it is better than not doing it exactly but you're sit, you just said depression's bullshit it is it's better to believe that than to believe that like see you just described life and i can describe life the same way too nothing you said was wrong but it's your outlook that's wrong like you said, oh, you're you born into life and then people die. Like you can view it from a beautiful, a beautiful perspective. You could think, okay, God gave me the gift of life. I'm born. And then my family may die. There's hardships that I have to endure, but that makes life all the more beautiful. That makes me appreciate it more. The fact that my loved ones aren't going to be here forever. It makes me want to cherish the time that I have now. Yeah. It makes the moments and the time that I have be able to work and do things to create. It makes it more interesting and, and amazing because it's not going to be here forever. So I'm going to use this gift of life to do the best I can. Exactly. And I'm what I, I'm not saying that that's how I think. I'm saying that that's, that's how why, losers think. That's why people are depressed. Yeah, losers who don't do anything. You don't think that way, so I don't know why you're advocating for people that that you're not anything like it, it's not that i'm advocating it's i have my own thoughts i have my i'm a very positive person right and that's I, the right way every to every life. day i wake up in the morning and i'm thankful that i'm alive right I, that's how i've always been i always will be till the day i die that's great i've always been a positive person but you're saying depression's bullshit and that's fucked. even if it, like it's better to view it like that like so if you believe that like you can just catch it like a like a disease how does that, what is your solution to that? So, so say, say you're right. Like I, and I just can catch depression. Now what I'm depressed. I don't think depression's a disease. I just think people just think about life and they get depressed. You know what I'm saying? And they should stop doing that and then do something better and be stop, positive like you. Stop thinking. Stop I mean, thinking about sad stuff and think, adopt a positive mindset so that you can get out of that.
Like, if life is miserable, it's better to not think about that as well, and it's better to do something about it. Do okay. a push-up. Yeah. If you're sad, do a push-up right now. So, the, I mean, and like, like I, like I kind of want to say, I want to reiterate, you know, obviously, okay. I'm a very positive person. Yeah, man. I always have been. I'm so. hardworking. But I'm saying, like, there are people that deal with shit like that, and... And, like, you can't kind of... I'm just saying you can't kind of just say it's bullshit. That's all I'm saying. Why not? Well, because, like, you're different than everybody else, right? You have your own outlook on things. What if someone else's outlook is totally different? They don't care. But their outlook they isn't working. They, <laughs> like, no, no, no. But it's clearly failing if they're depressed. If they have the outlook that depression is crippling their life, stop thinking that way. Start believing it's bullshit because it's clearly not working. Okay. Like, by definition, it's so what do failing. You mean, define working. What do you mean? Working is doing something, building on something, creating. No, I mean, like, define, like, it's working. Because you said whatever they're doing is not working. So If define. you're depressed, your outlook on life is not working, period. Okay. Because the, being depressed means is the absence of action. It's sitting, it's not so having action, a positive mindset. You think action is, is working, right? Like, action. Action, yeah, is moving forward. Interesting. Have you, like, um, have you read, like, uh, like when you were in high school, did you read like Shakespeare books at all? Yeah, I did. Okay, so what are like your what would you say are your goals like as a as a man? What are your goals? Seek truth through funny. That's my motto. Okay, seek truth through funny. I, I want to get to the truth, but I don't think people listen if you're not being entertaining. You need to go captivate people. You need to go garner attention, and I think that you should do it in the right way. And the best way is to make people laugh. If you can make people laugh by telling the truth, then you're doing two positive things at once. And that's what I want to do with my streams. That's why, that's why I started streaming um, in 2022. Okay. That's interesting. I wasn't being as effective with my YouTube videos. I started like, I hit a million, but it took a long time. And I was uploading like once a week and it wasn't getting that output. And then when I started streaming, I was able to like really like quadruple my output in one day. And I just like, the first day I streamed May 1st, 2022, I was like, this is definitely the way to go. Because I, I have a live audience, I can repurpose the content, I'm capturing people's attention, people are getting energetic, I'm interacting with them in real time, this is the way to do it, and, you know, I'm, some people are getting some benefit out of it. Dude, yeah, and when you were, I mean, when you were a kid, I saw some of, like, your old YouTube clips, you actually, like, started off pretty wholesome, I'd say. I'm still wholesome. You think so? I just told you that I think that you should, you, you should work hard, I should, I'm telling you that you should laugh, that yeah. you should get to the truth, that you should have action in your 100%. life that you shouldn't be sad. Those are all really wholesome, positive yeah. things. Um, so and I was saying all that same stuff when I was a kid. You could watch me when I was like 14, 15, yeah, saying, just like, get off your ass and do something. Yeah. I'm like 14 saying yeah, the no, same you stuff. Were pretty, like, you were well-spoken. I was like, yapping yeah. like before puberty. Yeah. So at what point, because, I mean, would you say you're a controversial person? Would you say that? Sure, yeah. And I mean, okay. the, the truth is controversial in a world of lies. Okay, hold on. Hold on, Ben Shapiro. Um, <laughs> would you say, would you say, at what point in your career did you become controversial? Okay, Hasanabi. What did you do? When I realized that on your website, like Twitch, that you can't say how many genders there are. And people say that I yap about this too much, but it's a very simple reality of the world that you know, but you probably can't say it because you're on Twitch. And I don't want to like put you on the spot and make you say it. But like, yeah, there's two genders, there's, male, there's men and women, but you can't say simple stuff like that. You can't say the word simp on Twitch because they want you to become a simp. They want you to sit there <laughs> and then beat your meat and then get fat while watching Pokemane and watch Hasanabi have terrible takes about the world. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Streaming's harder than working in a mine. <laughs> and give your money away to these people that like, and then Jadion comes on, he's funny, ban him, and they ban him. And then no one funny exists. And like, that, that's why you're doing well. I'm like, why are you having me on? Because I, I really, I want you to last, man. You're doing some good stuff. So what, so what did you, bro, no one, I'm not like, dude, I, no, I'm not gonna get fucking banned by proxy of you, dude. I hope not. I, you have I, your I really own fucking. Uh, yeah, that's true. You that's have true. your own journey. You, you did enough pushback, so you're gonna be good. So why, um, why do you feel that Hasanabi had a disagreement with you? Like, or, or would you say that jump started it was you beefing with Hasanabi? Jump started what? You said, well, I said, at what point did you become controversial? You brought up Hassan. Amir. Oh, no, no, I was just saying, because you, you said Ben, Shib you called me Ben Shapiro, so I'm calling you Hassan Abi. Like, that's the, that's oh. the difference. Because I said the truth is controversial in the world of lies. The reason that I'm controversial is because of how many, like, hula hoops you need to jump through in order to get, get a paycheck. Like, there's, there's a reason why, you know. So do you understand, like, business or no? A hundred percent. I'll explain it. Um, so the reason why <laughs> it's so filtered on Twitch and YouTube is yeah. because they want ad revenue. A hundred percent. So the reason why, people, but that's why I'm controversial because everybody has to go and they're, they're not, dude. They're not saying that they hate you because you're giving these takes. They're saying, oh, we want to be able to run ads on Sneeko's stream 
maybe he should cock it back a little bit or we ban him, right? Do you get that at all? Do you get the business side of it? Right, but like Twitch lied about why they banned me. They said it was for ban evasion. Like, at least be honest. They just, just tell me, okay, we can't make money off you. Don't say that it's for suspension evasion. When I just, I, was, I went on Twitch right after I got banned on YouTube and I was eating a salad with my mic off and then they banned me. Okay, I mean... For suspension evasion. It's like, just be straight well, up. Were you suspended on Twitch? I no, I, I started an account right after I got banned on YouTube and they said suspension evasion. I wasn't even talking to ban me. So you got ban you got banned for ban evasion, permanently banned for ban evasion. Yeah, yeah. I mean it's indefinite. Wow. I still am banned. I haven't I haven't checked. Maybe I, I could I know that no I applied again. Yeah. No, yeah, but I do think that's another thing I disagree with you on now that we're here. Um, okay. Because like it's hard to think of twenty things, but when we're talking, it's pretty easy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you think everything is so filtered because people have an ideology and a vision and emotion and a movement. When I think. They want to make money because money is how the world goes around. So they know they can't run ads on your stream because you're talking about all this shit. You're talking about politics. You're talking about epidemics. Yeah, but the problem goes deeper than just the platforms. My beef is not even just with the platforms. It's the fact that you need to say those certain things in order to get advertisers money. Like, why do the advertisers only want to push a certain ideology? Why is that? Great question. So imagine you're Gatorade, right? And you're saying, okay, let's throw a 30-second Gatorade Twitch ad. We can throw it on, oh, Queso, he's playing Fall Guys and laughing. Or Sneeko, he just said the vaccine causes cancer. Or you didn't say that, but See, Sneeko. but there's the thing. The vaccine is hurting people. That's what I said. Like, like oh, look, Sneeko's trying to, like, warn you that you might get myocarditis. Or let's but, go to a hot tub streamer who's shaking her tits upside down. Like, oh, but, oh, but there's little black bars covering her giant fake ba boob titty nipple. But, Sneeko, are you a doctor? Okay, I, I, am I a... Am I a what, what does that have to do with, like... I, it has to do with everything. But you know what's crazy? On Twitch, you can say... All those creators, Pokemon, Hasana, all these people, they'll tell you, get the vaccine. And that doesn't get you banned. Like that, the medical thing is is a is a, is a like that's a, a bad argument because there's only one position that you're supposed to have. If you're not a doctor, you can say everybody get the vaccine, and they'll have vaccine ads. Some of the advertisers are, are Pfizer. You'll be watching like Jinxie drooling, and then you see like a fucking Moderna ad pop up, and there's like Michael Phelps that has a band aid, and he's like, "Good job, band aid." Whoa, got vaccine like a got milk ad. There's one ideology you need to push. <laughs> okay. A lot of them weren't. A lot of them were just getting paid to. Well, sure, a lot of people that were being vocal were being The vocal ones, yeah, because the, the vocal yeah. doctors that were anti-vaccine, what happened? They got packed up. Sure, sure, and I disagree with that, but I'm saying the vast majority of doctors were agreeing with that stance, and then poking into those people take that stance. They so, yeah. Yeah, so I was, I was going to say that when you were, like, done with whatever that was. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, mm -hmm. basically... Yeah, so Sneeko, you're not a doctor. You're not. You're a um, YouTuber. Well, okay. You're a Rumble streamer. I'm a Rumbler. Stop calling me a YouTuber. You're, okay, you're not a doctor. But, but, look, and, but you're talking, yeah. you're, you're shitting on Hassan and Pokey, which, cool. Shit on whoever you want to shit. I'm not shitting on them. They're, they're sure they're great. <laughs> Dude, come on, bro. You've been, you've been, come on. Okay. I, did, I just said that because you called me Ben Shapiro. But my point is, oh, but you didn't get the vaccine, bro. Dude, and that's, and that's, and that's my, that's my personal because decision. Because... That's, but if people get the vaccine, that's great. What, do, you have a, do you have a problem with that? I do have a, a problem. Dude, with, it, I have a problem. You with have people, a problem with people doing what they want to do to their, their body. They don't even want to do it. A lot of them didn't want it. Most of the people and they're watching this right now, they regret taking it because they were forced to. They said, you're going you're gonna to get kicked out of school. You can't come to work unless you get this. They regret it and they hated it. And they pretty much, they got injected without their permission. Non-consensual, consensual injection. So, but back to like base yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, what what I was saying and what he was saying, yeah. we're not saying we agree or disagree. We're saying Hassan and Pokey were taking the stance of doctors, right? That you're not, right? That's what that's what we were saying. They're taking the stance of science studies of the promoted doctors. Okay, all right, we're going in circles. Yeah, agree to disagree. Yeah, yeah, agree to disagree. Okay, um, so Sean Strickland beat the fuck out of you. <laughs> I'm still standing. Still hey, standing. First off. I actually respect you for even getting in the fucking. Yeah. I would never. I would never do that. What do you think would have happened if you went in there? I'd cease to exist. I wouldn't be in this chair right now. I'd die. Um, so good shit, bro. No, um, can you walk me through that? What were your thoughts on that? 
how'd you feel before? How'd you feel after? Felt good before, good after, and just got right back to work. I started uh, right after the, the fight ended. I just went, started to do jujitsu with Jake Shields and just went right back to streaming that day. I went to Power Slap right after and then did a five hour IRL stream. So I was good before. I mean, I was never disrespectful to them. A lot of people have this misconception. They're like, oh, you, like, you, you got what you asked for. I never asked for it. He asked me. I never insulted him. You know, I was never disrespectful and just got in there. And, you know, if someone asked me to spar, I'll do it. Yeah, so let's hypothetically say the ref doesn't come in there. What happens? It wasn't a ref. That was just a rant. That was Forrest Griffin, a former UFC oh, I, fighter. Oh, I know Forrest Griffin. I actually knows. Yeah, I, no, I know Forrest Griffin. Yeah, that yeah. was Forrest Griffin? Yeah, wow. he came in there. I think he was like training and then he Small saw world. it and then he came in. There was no ref. I didn't have a team. The people that were throwing the towels, they were not my people. It was not, I didn't, I would have kept going. <laughs> those, those towels were not mine. Like, Sneeko, he was throwing piss around. Like, you were not going to keep going, dude. Trust I, me. I didn't fall. How, how long was that didn't flurry? Fall. Six seconds? No, I think it was like nine seconds max. I think if no one stepped in, I don't think you'd be. The round was almost over. Okay. <laughs> I, I almost got to the clock. That was I was trying to like get my time. I was trying to get to the clock. Okay. What do you um what do you think of Sean Strickland? Like aside from like like as a person, what do you think of him? Okay, I, I could give you um on camera, off camera, I might I respect the guy. I mean, I think yeah. he's I think he's saying a lot of important things right now, especially when it comes to the culture war. I think he's almost close to the full truth. Um, I won't say too much because we're, we're on camera, you're on YouTube, you don't want to get demonetized. About a certain war. We're probably already demonetized by now. Yeah, well, that's yeah, sorry. Well, okay, well, I, I think he's, he's a little bit misled about, um, about what's going on. Uh, I don't want to say these key words. I really don't. But about a war that's happening in the Middle East. I think he's a little bit misled about that. But I, I think he's close to the truth and what he's saying is good. I, but I also think that there's a phrase, hurt people hurt people. I think that he, I think he comes from a, hurt, a place of hurt and... He, that's the reason that he fights. And I think a lot of MMA fighters, they do it because they have a love for the sport and respect and all this stuff, and they treat it like it's a game. I think that he, he genuinely wants to get in the octagon and kill people. And I think he's been hurt. You know, I, someone who wants to do that has to be hurt before. Okay. Um, I saw Joe Rogan was saying, he was kind of talking about it, and he thought it was a little fucked up, like how hard he went. Yeah. Um, what do you think? Are you happy with how it happened? No, no, I'm not happy. I mean, I mean, do you it, think, it happened. Do you think it was fucked up? I mean, the guy's literally a machine, dude. No, he could have, I, I, he could have I killed think, you. I, I don't think it was fucked up. I don't think so. He could have. I mean, you might have actually got brain damage from it and don't know yet. I'm fine now. Was your like? Do you think I had brain damage? Probably before Sean Strickland. Oh man. Um, but oh, do, man. wait, Sneeko, this is unrelated. But what is your IQ? You took IQ tests, right? About 130. No. Um, I think 135. Can I get the... I'm going to get the thing right now. Hold on. Let me see what it says. I've taken many online tests before. And the one that you're pulling up, I was trying to be funny. I was trying to entertain the audience. You're not going to bring up the one that says 135 or the one that says 140. You're going to bring up the one that says 95. Oh, it's that's interesting. Result of IQ test. Your IQ was measured to 95. You were trolling? Yeah, that was an online test. Those things aren't real. But you see, that's the one that gets circulated around. You of all people know that fake clips get shown out of context. Yeah. The 131 isn't shown. The 115 wasn't shown. I've taken a lot of them. That wasn't even a real Mensa test. That wasn't a real regulated test. That was an online one. Stop. Come on. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll give you that. Sure. Um, so what are your thoughts on like rumble as a whole as a platform do you love rumble what are your biggest problems with it what do you hate about it let me know first i want to see what you think about rumble we were watching a clip when we walked over here there was a clip of you like seven months ago this is i think how i first saw you um i have my discord clips that i react to and uh needle sent a clip over here it was like uh hey jinxie come over to rumble six nine and sneeko are in rumble it was a tts and then you go what <laughs> <laughs> it was just like, yeah, like it was a weird <laughs> selling thing. Like, hey, come over to Rumble six nine and Sneeko, like nightmare blunt rotate. I would, yeah, it's a weird, <laughs> like, like, what is this website? I would, I, it's a weird selling point, but um, yeah, I, I, it's getting better. It's a lot better than when I first joined. I joined when it would look like Reddit in two thousand five. It's it's got a lot better. I like the UI. I like the the creators that are on there, and we have good free speech. There's a lot of there's a good diverse array of creators is good yeah so i think rumble's a shitstorm. um i think it has the worst user interface in internet history um i've actually tried to watch your streams on rumble and like i won't even know if you're streaming or not it's that bad especially on mobile because i watch streams on mobile mm. but i think if rumble fixed the ui that'd be really good 
They yeah. need to fix the. They need to fix the UI. Would you agree with that? You want me to call the CEO right now, see if he picks up? Call the CEO of Rumble right now. Let me see. Because I've had this conversation about the about the UI. All Would the you time. agree with me? Um, do you think the UI is fucked? I think it's better than it was. Like there's things you, that need to improve. When do you, you think? Do you think the UI is fucked? No, I don't. Interesting. I don't. I, I maybe I'm used. To, I think it's just different than 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 Twitch. You know, it's a different website. Let me call him. Yeah, call him. I actually want to see what he says about that. Let's see if you see if I got motion, Jinxie. What's his name, by the way? Uh, Chris. Oh, so your first conversation with it? Yeah, you've never met him before. He does not know you, little bro. Bro, he was just texting. He literally texted me on the drive over here. Literally texted me. This is uncomfortable. Um. <laughs> Come on, one more. Damn, no, Chris, bro. Dude, he's probably just like laying down. Um, <laughs> bro, he texted me 20 minutes keep, ago. Keep all this in. 20 minutes ago. Um, uh, this is the one you're going to keep in? Okay, fair, 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 fair. Well, I mean, the other shit's demonetized. That was pretty funny. Okay, so what are your thoughts on Rumble landing? We'll call back. <laughs> <laughs> so what are your thoughts on Rumble landing the Kai and Speed show? Do you think that was like a big move for Rumble or no? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're a sneaky guy, JC, bro. I know. What, it's t- say what you think. Just, just say what you think. You want me to say what I think? Say what you think, yeah, because I know I think- what you're asking about. <laughs> Hold on. This I want to. I want to be Dave Skylark. Um, have you seen that movie? No, no, no. Okay, well, you got to see it. What um, is he's just what like is? a shitty interviewer. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> a second. So I think Rumble basically. I think okay. So I think Kai and Speed are obviously like the biggest streamers ever. Like no one will ever disagree with that. But I think Rumble is ba- they paid for like what a show. I mean. Now, if they got them streaming on the platform, that'd be different. But obviously, Kai and Speed aren't going to stream on Rumble, right? So I think Rumble was just, like, competing with Kick, and they just wanted to, like, lock something down. And and I don't really think it was that great of a decision for the platform. But what do you think? I'm glad that they're on there. They're bringing the, a lot of the youth on there. Because, like, besides me, there's not that many. There's Rice Gum that's on there. Uh, Gideon left. Steve will do it left. So I'm glad that they're there. I want them to stream more. You know, I think they've streamed like six times. I would Have like they streamed six times? It's like it's like five or six. It's like okay. five or six. I think I can remember all of them too. There was like a, a speed dating show. There was Japan. There was a, a cabin and then Power Slap. That's okay. Fun. Okay. So you just want them, you wish they were on the platform more. Yeah. I wish they could show how dope this platform is and... You know, like they could bring the youth on there more. But if I if I got to do it all, then I'll do it all. Don't you think like Kai and Speed's style of content, it's like kind of just like it doesn't really need to be on Rumble. Like, don't you think they make content that's like for Twitch or YouTube? Like, I feel like your content needs to be on Rumble because like we <laughs> said, right? But I don't think their content. Now, Rumble just got a lot of advertisers, too. There, there's certain advertisers that just don't need to fit a certain ideology. You think that all my content is not but advertiser are a friendly? Lot of Rumbles, it's just certain. Are a lot of Rumble's advertisers political advertisers? No, a lot of them aren't. They just oh. got a whole new list of advertisers, and Who? it's like, um, I see them pop up all the time. It's like a bunch of medical stuff and, you know, weight loss, you know, regular internet, um, coffee, bucked up. <laughs> Bucked up is an energy drink. What? What's I, bucked up, I just see it on the TikTok shop all the time. Um, bucked up is a is a good energy <laughs> drink, bro. I actually see how this motherfucker, dude. Well, you don't like coffee? You don't like 1775 I, I fucking, coffee? I love coffee. Um, <laughs> interesting, man. No, this is... I'm actually having fun talking to you, bro. Um, <laughs> what? What? <laughs> this is a great question. <laughs> What content creator would you say you dislike the most? That's a good question. Who? Do, oh, for, first, let me ask. I keep flipping it out. You want me to ask you? Or you want me? You want me to answer? Yeah. Who do you dislike? Jack the most? Doherty. All right, now you. Wow, I didn't think you were actually going to say it. Oh, Jack Doherty? Yeah, no, because um, you know, I don't disagree with you, but I just don't like giving a lot of these people more attention. Than yeah, I'll probably just just, just by saying their names. Like, well, he I, he came in his pants as soon as I said his name. He like nutted. He's gonna put it on Twitter. Yeah, and then he's gonna go after you. See, you just gave him a bunch of content. That's like a whole stream right there. Yeah, so maybe I'll just say. Um, we already well, said it. Well, we can't we, we can't edit this whole podcast out. Yeah, yeah. this whole podcast is like just keep it, just keep it. Okay. Um, but yeah, that kid's a fucking dork. Yeah, uh, I mean, like he's like. I see what you're saying. Here's my McLaren. Like, I, I dude, I want to, like... Um, <laughs> you kind of look like him. <laughs> That's the funny I mean, thing. Okay, but um, who would you say, what content creator do you dislike the most? What content creator do I dislike the most? 
Um, oh, bro, fuck, man. See, whoever I say, then there's gonna be like a whole beef. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he's. I don't think you he's could, doing good things. You could agree with me. I mean, that's a great answer. I think. I don't think he's doing good things. Have you met Jack in person? Yeah, I have. By proxy of like neon clip farming. Yeah. Okay. And how did that go? At neon clip farming, he was. You know, he was there. One time, I was at a vultures con. Like, uh, Ye was having an event, and then he came in with a fake Ye and a fake Drake, and like he tried to get in, and like I was like, bro, like I don't want Ye's event to be like. Jack Doherty, you know, so yeah. yeah, he was trying to get in. There was this. They, they thought that I like snitched on him. I, I'm basically like the security guy was was about to let them in. I'm like, that's that's fake. Okay, like, like this is fake. So yeah, about the yay stuff. Um, weren't you like yapping about how he was going to be on a stream or something? Yapping about that, <laughs> or did it actually happen? Well, I mean, I, I used to work with him, and like, still kind of, you know, it's it's a little bit complicated. But yeah, I would like to have him on stream. I think it'd be a, a really you talk to Kanye West. Yeah, I used, I used to work on his political campaign. On, like, the phone or text? How'd you talk to him? I was there. I was working on the campaign. I, I went out to L.A. for about a, a couple weeks, and we were working on Yay 24 when he was running for president in, 20, in 2022, end of 2022. So you were you spoke to Kanye West in person multiple times? Yes. And yeah, I was working on his political campaign. What was that campaign. like? It was a lot of brainstorming sessions. It was trying to, to figure out, how like, the right way to move the country forward. Like we had Bible study and you know coming up with policy, it was good. It, it, it was it was really interesting time, and it was I think it changed the discussion that's happening politically right now quite a bit. Even though the campaign didn't come to fruition. Yeah, why did he not end up running? Did he just not care anymore? Or? There, there's a lot of reasons. Um, like it's something like difficulties with the paperwork, especially because he was um he was running in 2020. The, yeah. The, so like you can't file a couple times. It's just like complicated campaign, blah blah blah, but. Yeah, it was good. My le- I, I want to I want to answer my least favorite content creator, but who who who's my least favorite content creator? Who do you think? I don't know, it's just not worth saying. Yeah, see, the people that I'm thinking of, like I don't want to say it because I'm just going to give them more attention than they're going to have more. Yeah, I don't I don't think that matters. I think I mean, dude, Jack Doherty's gotten <laughs> enough att- I mean, people have made up their mind about him. You know what I'm saying? Like Right, right, right. You can give Jack Doherty a uh, 20 million uh, view TikTok, no one's pulling up to that stream. Yeah. Um, so like besides like view bots, right? But um who's yeah, your favorite? Yeah, who's your favorite content creator? Let's get wholesome. My favorite content creator. Good. This it's been all like I'm all on edge, man. Like I watched your podcast before and it's like smiling and wholesome. Well, because we like, went from case. You guys are glazing critical. each other and stuff like that. And then I come on, I'm like, fuck man, I gotta talk about the vaccine. Uh, my favorite content creator is I would say me. I'm like, I think I'm my favorite okay. content creator. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Besides you, who's your favorite content creator? Who do I watch the most? Um, <clears throat> I've been watching a lot of Rice Gum. I like his streams. Yeah, I would say right now my favorite streamer is Rice Gum. Do you think that's just because he's on Rumble? I really like the Rumble UI. I know, like, I, I would say this off camera too. He's laughing. Like, I genuinely, like, I watch Rumble streamers. My friends are, like, fresh and fit. I watch, I watch my friends. You know, I watch those guys a lot. Okay. Um, if the UI is getting a lot better, I think you just haven't seen this since 2022. H- have you? I looked at Rumble's UI like three, four months ago. Probably. Yeah, yeah. It's updated a lot. Do you have the app? Uh, I deleted it. Yeah. So, like, if you check out the new app, bro, it's good. Okay. I'll think about it. <laughs> um, okay. So, you you were... Oh, shit. Sorry. We, You know, obviously, we had Moist Critical on last episode. Internet yeah. legend. Awesome. Right. Now you're here. <laughs> Um, <laughs> fuck you, bro. I didn't need to come here. So, so okay. Uh, can you walk me through the entire... Well, okay, but okay, why do you say that, though? Why, why do you think he's an internet legend and I'm not? So why do I think Moist Critical is an internet legend? Yeah. Great question. He is the embodiment of, if you want to keep in touch with what's going on in the internet, you want it from an unbiased source, you go to Moist Critical. When I'm eating food, when I'm eating tacos, and there's new drama on the internet this week, I'm going to watch Moist Critical every fucking time. It's either that or fucking Keemstar, right? And Moist Critical is the Keemstar that people don't hate. So, so drama farming is what qualifies... Drama a, farming? What, what do you mean? You just, that's what you said. So, like, drama, that's what qualifies a legend? No, so giving unbiased commentary on drama, keeping people up to date on drama, yeah, that would make you... What, what do you mean unbiased? That would make all, you... All commentary is biased. You can... You, it's literally impossible to be an unbiased commentator. So, I mean... What are we like... What are we doing? Are we doing an English discussion here? I mean, yeah, everybody has bias, but... What I, what I mean by this is you're getting, like, actual research takes is what I mean, right? Like, are you familiar with, like, Your Age? You know who that is? Yeah, he's a cool yeah. guy. 
like he does the same thing. Like all, all of his takes are like researched, right? Um, so by unbiased, you mean research? I mean researched. Yeah, I mean researched, and you're not like listening to any parties. You're not listening to your chat. You're not listening to your fucking YouTube comments. You're saying what you actually think, and you don't care what like the result is in a YouTube comment, right? Okay. Are you saying that that's what I do? No. I'm not saying that at all. I said we had moist critical. Now you're here, right? Yeah. You guys obviously had beef last year. Mm -hmm. So can you? That's I don't even know how we got into that discourse, but mm -hmm. can you walk me through the entire thing there? Well, yeah. See, I, that's where I disagree. Like the whole beef started because he was calling out my friend Fresh, saying that he was a liar, which like that was not research. Like he didn't actually look into why he called him a liar. Um, so I, I mean, that's a good example of like you know just not doing research and not looking into what you're saying and following what the internet trends were. You know, it's, it's easy to make fun of the, the red pillars. When you come from like the, the I, I could say like the normie land, it's easy to make fun of like the, the more fringe or niche parts of the internet, like the red pill people and say like, oh, these guys are grifters, like fake alpha males. But I get that all the time. They say fake alpha male. I've never called myself an alpha male. They say that about my friends fresh and fit all the time too. And I think that's because I, I, th I actually think that um, Moist Critical, for example, I think he goes exactly by what the comment section says. I think he tries to follow what's trendy. I think he tries to follow what the masses are going to say and what they're already going to agree with because that's what's going to get the most amount of views. And it's not going to come from, it's not going to change anybody's mind. It's not going to like push the conversation forward. It's going to say what most people already want to hear because you kind of want to mindlessly listen to something that you already agree with while you're eating food. And that's why like he was lying about my friends and that's why I called him out for that. And then we, we started going back and forth. So when you said he was lying about your friends, uh, what did he say exactly? My friend was, was telling a story about, like, about the girls that he's been with. And he's like, there's no way. He's just calling him a virgin. Oh, I saw that video. Yeah. yeah, and th that was like a perfect example of somebody. But you who don't didn't think do he was research. just like being funny at all? Like you don't think he was just like, because dude, obviously, what, what's your friend's name? It's like Myron, right? Yeah, Fresh and Myron. Um, Fresh and Myron. Obviously, those guys aren't virgins, right? Obviously. So when he's calling them virgins, you don't think he's just like being funny? I mean, he went into pretty good detail about it, so it, it didn't. It sounded like he genuinely believed that, and also like the the fake alpha male thing is a thing I don't like, especially when you're when you're talking about the problems of dating uh, right now in the West. I think it's important for people to have those discussions. When you try to like, you know, shove that to the side, oh these fake alpha, oh these gurus, I think that's uh, that's not good for the discussion, especially when there's all these problems with dating. Interesting. Okay. Um, so then, what like jump started the entire beef? It was that I, I called him out, and then like we we had a disagreement about. Um, I thought it, yeah, I thought it was about cuties. Yeah, right? we had a disagreement about the movie Cuties. Yeah. And what was like the disagreement? Yeah, I, I also think that was a good example of like not researching the topic at all, because like the reason that I that I was defending the movie Cuties, obviously there's things in there that's not good and they were kind of gross, but I think the director made a mistake. She's like a like a young girl, and I think she was trying to show her experience growing up as a Muslim and then being indoctrinated by Western culture and by social media, and then in the end of the movie. Uh, the girl ends up coming back to Islam, which I think was an important part of the movie, and I think it had a good moral, but I think it was also diluted by, like, you know, scenes that were gross, which were supposed to be gross, but they probably didn't need to be depicted. So I think she, he could have looked into the intention of the movie more. I think instead, that was a perfect example, of, like, of why I don't like his content, is because he'll see internet outrage, and they'd be like, oh, I got one, and then just repeat what everybody else is saying because he knows it's going to get views and because he's like, yeah, you said the thing we agree with. And then like everybody, like the mindless people will, will clap and agree. Interesting. OK, that's interesting. Don't you think because if... he didn't he, even in that in that video, he said he didn't watch the movie. How are you going to review a movie that you haven't seen? That I don't think that's what he said. I think he no, he did say that in the no, video. I think he said he stopped watching the movie because so of... he didn't watch the movie. No, he said he stopped watching the movie because yeah. it was actualizing. Yeah, I don't think we can say that on YouTube, but yeah, 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 I think that's why he stopped watching the movie, right? Isn't that what he said? Yeah, I know, but then you shouldn't give a movie review about something, that you, a movie you haven't seen. But I think that was his problem with it. I don't think it, the plot, and like you said, the plot is cool, right? The plot is like very like, you know, uplifting, but his problem was that they used young actresses because can a... No, yeah, that's bad. That's can bad. a kid really consent to anything? No, 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 that's a bad. A kid really can't consent. If I, I don't, I don't think an eleven-year-old kid should be in a movie in, in like in that nature, right? No, or like no, no, a absolutely not. So you would agree with him? But, on but that's that. my that's my problem is like the drama YouTubers will just follow what everyone's outraged, but they're not seeing what the intention was. They're but, not seeing what the real what the truth is. But if everyone's outraged by it, don't you think it's probably correct? If everyone is outraged by but it, everybody's outraged about the about how important the vaccine was and look what happened. <sighs> Everybody was outraged about.
January 6th and then look what happened. You can't follow public outrage immediately because actually public outrage is wrong a lot of the time, especially recently. I'm not saying to follow public outrage. That's not what I'm, I'm saying. If there is, you know, 10 million people and 9.5 million people watch this movie, right, or whatever, and they think, wow, I don't think they should have used younger actresses for that. Mm. Do you think they're right? That's not the, that's, yeah, of course, they're, they're right about that. But I think that when you are covering something or doing a review on something, you should be able to look at it and actually, you should watch the movie before reviewing it. I okay. think that's that simple. Got it. So, um, so you agree with him in the sense that they shouldn't have used young actresses? 100%, yeah. Okay. And that, that was his main take, which was a valid take. Um, you wish he watched the full movie, but he yeah. said he couldn't because it was using young actresses, which is a fair point. Fair. So then we progress into... Let's talk about my clips. Let's talk about my clips. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So what was going through your head that night? So I, I was just streaming, and I was like, I was going over the fact that like everybody that dislikes me, they have a certain archetype. They all kind of look the same. It's, it's a lot of like, you know, pasty people don't look like that. I, I'm not trying to be insulting, genuinely. Um, it's a lot of pasty people that have long hair, and they they look like they sit inside all Define day. Define pasty. Like really pale, like they look like pale. they don't see the sun. Like just like it, it, it's the same look of the person every single time. Uh, I used to call it the soy boy collage, which I thought was funny because like there's a list of everybody that's made documentaries about me or that's made like hate videos on me, and they almost they look identical. Um, and so I was calling that out, and then he was streaming at the same time. He was like DMing me like, watch these clips, watch these clips. I thought this was funny. Like oh, watch my clips, you know. And he's like, oh, it's mags, not clips. But everybody I'm from New York, everybody says clips. Okay. It's like you all emptied a clip. So do you think... Let's unload the clip. It's a clip. Yeah. Um, do you think you won this dispute? I think that would have been different if I was on YouTube. If I, if I had a YouTube channel, this is a good example of like being silenced. If I was on the same platform, it's like, bro, you can't, you can't win a beef on a platform that you're not on. That's a, that's a stupid... It's, it's like showing up to a fight and you're not there. You're going to lose that fight. Okay. Um, okay. So you... You lost. If it's it's an unfair fight, bro. Okay, it's an um, unfair fight. All right, cool. Well, yeah. So, who do you think is gonna win the? <laughs> <laughs> who do you think is gonna win the 2024 Jay election? Um, <laughs> great transition. Um, you're funny, bro. Um, Thank you, man. I think it's gonna be. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to bleep everything. No, no, no. Keep it all. Keep it all. Keep it all. <laughs> I think I think Trump. I think you Trump's think Trump's going to win. Win 2020. I, I really hope he does. I hope he does. Yeah. So if you would choose between Trump or Biden, you would vote for Trump, right? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. What um, about you? So for me, I would if I had to choose between Trump or Biden, I would choose Trump. But I wish um, he's a Florida governor. Ron DeSantis was winning in polls because here's the not the problem I have with Trump. The problem I have with four years of Trump. Right. First off, it's only going to be four years. Right. Second, if Trump gets into office, what's going to happen immediately? Drama, constant news, constant bullshit, constant arguments. It's going to polarize the nation yet again. We're going to be more divided yet again, right? But if Ron DeSantis gets in, I, do you know Ron DeSantis at all? Yeah, of course. You do? Yeah, the governor, yeah. Yeah, Florida governor. Um, you don't know Ron DeSantis? Yes, of course I okay, know. Okay, okay, okay. Bro, the guy with the platform shoes who like who sells yeah. out to Israel flies there like so, three yeah. times a year. What, like, the, what, what you think I don't know who Ron DeSantis is? Well, because you were like the governor guy. But yeah, no. So if Ron DeSantis got in, people would the have... lizard guy. Yes, everyone knows Ron DeSantis. Yeah. Okay, so okay, if Ron DeSantis got into office, there there wouldn't be the bullshit, right? The pro the problem I have with another four years of that would just be four more years of bullshit. But if I had to choose between Trump and Biden, I would choose Trump. But wouldn't you agree that? If Trump gets back into office, it's just going to be more bullshit yet again. It'll be entertaining. There will be TikTok clips. He'll probably clip farm a little bit, but it'll be four years of bullshit. Right? Yeah, it's bullshit if you look from the content creator perspective and if you're chronically online. But if you actually look like geopolitically, <laughs> like Trump, he no new war started when Trump was in office. Like he, we were, we ended, it was one of the most peaceful times geopolitically. And I, I want to go back to that. I think like, yeah, if you look at the headlines all the time, like that is going to be like, oh, crazy, crazy. But what's more important is world peace. And Joe Biden, all he did was contribute more to wars and give billions of dollars to Ukraine is giving more money to Israel. I want that to stop. I think it's dope as fuck that Trump met Kim Jong-un. I think that's fucking sick. He did a great job. That's dope. Like, people don't give him credit for that enough. Like people focus on like orange hair, like orange man bad, or they'll talk about the headlines or how something I said provocatively, but he did a good job. 
Um, with and he China. met Putin too, right? Yeah, right. yeah, bro. Yeah, how many other presidents were able to do all that? Like uh, Putin clearly doesn't respect Biden. Kim Jong Un clearly doesn't respect Biden. But Trump was able to to shake hands on a lot of countries that other presidents didn't go to. Has any president ever met with a North Korean? No, he's the first. Yeah, that's yeah. fucking sweet. And after all, like in during the Obama years, everybody was afraid that North Korea was going to nuke us. So that, that was a huge yeah. step forward. So where do you align like politically? Like, would you say you're Republican or Democrat? I wouldn't say either one of those. I think that's stupid. Yeah, I, I yeah, mean, yeah. I have conservative values 100%, but I wouldn't say I'm Republican or Democrat. Uh, that's Those are both of the same. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what yeah, are you? I'm like independent. Okay. But I mean, I just kind of play it by ear every year. But yeah. um, would you say that like, I mean, have you ever seen like, I think it was one of George Washington's quotes where he said, um, like having a Republican Party and a Democratic Party is like the worst thing for America. He said something along those lines of it's just going to divide the nation, right? Yeah. That's, well, that's what it's designed to do. Yeah. So um, what are your thoughts on if there were just no political parties, right? Like if they just... Like, what would life be like then? That's much better. I yeah. don't know. There's no reason. Nobody can give me a valid reason. Like, why do you need to fit into one of two parties? It's stupid. Just, like, have people run for president, and then if people can vote for them. Yeah, I think I politics agree. is, like, parent parent thing. Like, oh, my parents are Republican. I'm Republican. My mom's Democratic. I'm Democratic. Like, yeah, they, I would I, they say use it like an identity. Of, it's really stupid. And like, then they, like, like, when they get the ballot, it's just R, 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 or D, D, All the way D. down, yeah. It's like, um, I think it is pretty stupid. Yeah. yeah. They just, they believe in whatever news that they see, and then they think that the other side's bad. It's very, yeah. it's very stupid. Uh, okay, what are your thoughts on Aiden? Yeah, he, he's, a, he's a good guy. That's it? He, he's, uh, so, like, <clears throat> you know, I think, like, recently, like, kind of had a falling out, I guess. Um, Who? So, with me and Aiden, I guess. Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah, he's, well, he always says he doesn't want to collab anymore. And I don't really know why, but I mean, I can give you reasons, but I mean, this is already demonetized. I think we have like, yeah, we're demonetized. Yeah. So it's fine. Like, I think, um, he, I, I don't really understand his reasoning. Um, I think that there's a lot of multitude of reasons. In my opinion, if you wanted me to be honest, I think, um, I think like people like his management or something is like, they're telling him like, you should distance yourself from Sneeko. I think that's what it is. Um, I think it's like he's starting to level up now. He's like, I mean, he says brand risk, but he's not really anymore. And he's, he's starting to get like bigger collabs. He's getting to the next level. And I think he's having conversations. Okay, you're making more money. You know, you're the face of this website. Like, uh, here's what you should be doing. He's very like, you know, he's playing chess with everything. So it's like, why be friends with Sneeko if he's, you know, if he's being a, if he's a brand risk, ironically, <laughs> that that's the name of his thing. So it's like, so and it's too bad because I, I genuinely like the guy and I you know, consider him a friend, but. It makes, you know, if it doesn't make sense content wise, then, you know, by all means, then don't do it. So, do you, um, like, do you disagree with him leveling up and c getting on like collabs and shit? If it's like, like, what is, what is your point? Like, what do you mean? I, I just wish it was the same thing like when I was banned. It's, I wish that they could be honest about it. It's like, okay, this doesn't make sense. Like, I, I wish that we could have a, I've, I've had that conversation with people before. Where I'm like, man, I have to have, the, I have to level up right now. And, you know, I like you, but I can't do it. You know, yeah. we've had that conversation. I was able to cut it off. Um, and then and they understand that. I wish it was the same. Or, you know, if it's not that reason, I, I wish there could just be, it could be straight up. But, like, that's what it is, man. I don't know, like, how much have you seen of the, the industry, but the industry has been, um, a lot of people come and go. Like, people that I thought were my friends aren't, you know. So you, you can't really, you, you can't really go in and expect to, you can't ask for validation or, like, expect that anyone's going to be loyal in this. You, you have to have your friends, like, your real people. Like, if, if you ever have to question if a friendship is real, then it's not. So, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, no, um, okay, so, because you guys did, like, didn't you guys do, like, kicking it or something or whatever it was? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I guess we, we had, like, a, we, we, yeah, we did a lot of collabs. Yeah, but, I mean, but, like, aside from that, right, like, what do you think of just his, like, streaming Career. Bro, his streams are good, man. Yeah, I think he's an entertaining guy. I'm, I'm yeah. sure you watch a lot of his stuff too. Like, he, he, yeah, he's, oh. he's a good content creator. Bro, I mean, he, he on, to be honest, bro, Aiden is the one who made streaming mainstream because before Aiden, it was just like, oh, you have to blow up on like Fortnite. But like, he was like the first ever like just full camera like big just chatting streamer. If you remember that, like, a lot of streaming was just have a game on and then you're playing in the bottom left, or like have a video on you're in the bottom left. But like, he is the first streamer to like turn it into something different. Where like you can have, like, guests on and have, like, a fucking rapper on. Like, he did, like, completely change streaming, like, forever. Yeah. He, he's the one who made streaming mainstream, but, I mean, you're saying, like, you guys... I mean, you're just talking about it from, like, a personal point of view, right? Like, your personal connection with him. Yeah. 
but I just meant like from like streaming. Oh, from a concert was yeah. Everybody yeah. knows that he revolutionized it. He's like the it's like the Kanye of Twitch. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he did he did a great job, and he, he uh, wish all the uh, best success to him, man. Yeah. How are everybody streaming? Like everybody doing it, man. I, I hope everybody really succeeds. Like there's there's so many opportunities right now to to, to blow up, man. Yeah. How long do you see yourself streaming for or making content for? I think another, like, I was just talking about this in the car, like, probably, like, two, three years streaming regularly, and then I kind of want to dial it back. I want, and then I want to dial it back. It, it's, it's really, it, it's a lot. It's a lot of work. People, people underestimate that. And I, I could see myself doing And then I'll, I'll probably transition to something else, like maybe a podcast or, like, maybe stream less. I'll probably still always keep in touch with my community. But I've always wanted to make films. That's why I got into this in the first place. That's what I was doing on YouTube. I want to do short films. And I think that that's what uh, I want to transition to once I can start my own media company. That's always been my goal. Okay. Uh, How long do you want to do streaming for? I don't know. Until, um, until I'm just bored of it, I guess. Until I don't care about it anymore. Because, like you said, the biggest part about streaming is it's not, it's not, like, a, it's not like a job where you're, like, getting your hands dirty. The biggest, the, the biggest issue, not issue, but, like, the biggest task with streaming is just constantly being creative, thinking of new shit, right? I mean, like, if you want to stream every single night you're going to have to repeat some content. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Because, like, who the fuck is going to think of a new event every night? So the biggest thing about streaming is just, like, the most grueling part is just sitting down every day thinking, like... Yeah, coming up with ideas, like, what's yeah. next? How do I make it exciting and fresh for the view, for the, um, for the loyal people? Exactly. Yeah. So I, I don't know how many more ideas or how much more I'm going to have to really talk about for, like, for another two, three years. But I always want to keep that, that community alive. I love my community. Yeah. What drives you to make content? I told I, it's the same thing is getting to the truth and then also you know, having like good conversation with different people, being able to travel the world, uh, the access that you get from it and learning uh, content so dope. Like, cause you get to, you get to interact with like people that you would never be able to interact with uh, regardless. You get to meet really interesting people. You get to do whatever you want to do. It's, it's whatever you make it. So I, I just love the, how open it is. You could really do whatever you want to do with content, especially streaming. The opportunities are, there's so many new opportunities every day. Yeah. Okay. Um, have you ever played like video games before? Yeah, I, I, I started on Call of Duty. Really? Yeah, yeah. I, I was gaming. I, I did Minecraft back in the day, and I played I played some FIFA. But I was like, my main thing why I started YouTube, I was playing Call of Duty Black Ops Two for for years. I was never that good. I was I'm not like I'm not like your level, but I I, I just like doing the comment. I like to yap. I would like to play and yeah. yap at the same time. I was always a yapper. So. But yeah, that, that's how I first started, man. I, I still miss Call of Duty. I like first-person shooters a lot. Okay. All right. I'm not that good. I don't play anymore that much, but yeah, I don't really play at all, to be honest. I didn't know that. Um, do you have any, like, questions for me or no? Question for you? Um, no, I, I asked you quite a bit, yeah. I mean... Okay. Yeah. All right, Batman. That was pretty... Over an hour? It's a pretty good combo, dude. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for um, having me. Yeah, bro. Um, now... We'll see how long it takes to get this monetized. We're going to have to, like, cut out everything, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good um, luck with that. Yeah, but thank you, man. Thank you for coming on. Of course, on. man. Appreciate, Appreciate it. you, Jinxie. Yeah. Um, how, how much do we have to cut, you think? 